Hi guys Mr. Newmobile here. Apple released the third iOS 14 beta to developers and as expected, it comes bundled with several new changes and features. Please subscribe followed by the bell. You can also keep up on Facebook, Twitter by clicking the links in the description. In the initial two betas, the new home screen functionality for widgets, app library, and page editing wasn't very obvious. To help with discoverability, Apple has added three new explainer pop-ups to the mix to help new users get started. Although these explainers may be tweaked in some way prior to the final version of iOS 14, I expect these to become permanent pieces of the iOS 14 getting started experience. As always, this is just a small part of the changes present in Beta 3, so have a look at our bulleted list below for all of the changes covered. What's new in iOS 14 Beta 3? Edit Home Screen Explainer Pop-Up. App Library Explainer Pop-Up. Widgets Explainer Pop-Up. Lower Page Dot Position. Updated Music App Icon. Updated Music Widget Background. New Music Library Menu Glyph to Snapchat Stories. New Memoji Face Covering. New Clock Widget. Delete Saved Colors and Markup. Easier to move apps from app library list to home screen. Other storage bug fixed. New Shazam shortcut action animation. Apple Music remembers where you left off. Display zoom update further hints at 5.4 inch iPhone 12. Drag and drop songs into playlists and music on iPad. VP9 decoding and Safari experimental settings. Location based hand washing reminders. Health shows number of washes. Also updated in iOS 14 beta 3 is the music app. Not only do we get a new music app icon that brings back memories of iOS 7, but there's a new music app widget background to match. Additionally, there are new music library menu glyphs and a smarter resume feature to help pick up music playback where you left off. Other quality of life enhancements include the ability to delete saved colors in the new iOS 14 mark for whatever reason that's been fixed. He also noticed a lot of speed improvements and animation changes, In this beta will be covering all of them, but overall, Apple has refined the user experience and made a lot more fluids on the home screen, you'll notice that all of the icons are sitting a few pixels lower, now and getting obviously what noticed that barely caught that one myself, but yes, Apple has lowered all the pixels in the page dots, so these bad boys now set number of pixels lower also, and compared to beta 2 here, see that they do sit lower, and the actual border surround is now smaller around them, and Apple is now enabled display zoom for iPhones with 5.8 inch displays. This is presumably in order to prepare. I was for the 5.4 inch iPhone and this is what that looks like compared to stock. I was so the widgets apps everything is zoomed, in here all the system menus are slightly bigger and more condensed shapes to fit 5.8 inch display, also assisted in text size at maximum notice that many widgets have been adjusted to more information in. For example, the files which appear going to whether you'll see that more information has been incorrectly on multiple the widget sizes and in the control center on favorites widgets here and these tiles will notice that the icons have all been shrunk in the individual tiles so they went large and then back to small size here and the view within the home pod settings and home favorites is slightly different so the icon up top is now translucent for home pod. Same goes for the X icon, and down here in order get, the square border around the information in the text-to-speech interface, is now back to the thinner bars from beta 1. For whatever reason Apple is going back on several design changes now in the emoji search field, Apple has added a timeout function when selecting an emoji, as you can see that border it disappears here previously one holding an emoji you had to select it in order to let go. So welcome function of course is that new Apple Music icon which reminds you of the old I was 72, I was 8.3 days very nice, and I do like it, and there's a new Apple Music widget look to go with that same color now solid magenta, although I don't like this change as much the dark mode changes don't apply to it, it's always sticking out there quite a few changes like application. So, for what you can now share Apple Music to Snapchat stories, and you get a very similar pop-up here what you'd see on Instagram. Also this beta there's any splash screen for music and friends, locating a friend's profile for sharing music and more. Also the color used throughout Apple Music is now a darker magenta, less pink has more substance to it. This is a pronounced change in all of the system menus here. Also within music clicking on the search icon and then clicking again. Now bring up the keywords a very nice shortcut. Also within the search page here, and notice the results are slightly different, so dance has been removed or replaced with alternative and hip hop, is been removed, and it's one of these smaller categories, and very welcome feature taken from Bonafide's playbook, is to resume playback upon closing of Apple Music. 
upon reopening awesome. I've been waiting for this for quite some time as, you can see a position is saved in the music itself on beta 2 just resets to this thank you, Apple for finally adding this one also when haptic, touching within Apple Music and then, selecting a search. There's a new animation much different. Not so much pop-up like very subtle. It's a lot less going on than in beta 2. I quite like it actually and then in here you'll notice that these buttons are now not highlighted in magenta, so more subtle same goes for the more icon in the top right. Also within the library tab we'll notice that the text is no longer highlighted in magenta, there are now icons to the left of all the categories. So actually going into those categories. You'll notice that every single one has a new icon here. Very nice and Apple has done a ton of work to widgets in beta 3 here, going to the widgets page first 5 in the search results, and notice that the Excel icon is now larger easier to use going to the very bottom here as there is now an edit icon like there was before. And if you go ahead and enter edit mode and now on beta 3 on notice that there is a new icon for customize, so this will edit your legacy widgets here as legacy widgets now have this darkened platter which you can use to customize them, instead of having to go into edit mode, and then click edit mode right here, and the clock widget is finally here. So Apple shows on. Originally when announcing I was to choose from. So for your city world clock and a horizontal world clock like this with slightly more information, and the cool thing about this clock widget is that it will actually change the coloring and sign, depending on the time the day. So after sunset changes to a dark interior. I go back to current time goes back to light. Very cool detail and Apple has also put in a lot of work on the screen time widgets, so the small version now is more condensed shows more information, and same goes for all the other views, this is the medium view a lot more info this sidebar here and the larger views a bit more condensed with better spacing on the bottom. There are several new pop-ups for different functions, and I was 14 one is for refresh widgets. So when you enter your widget view for the first time after updating this is what you'll see basically letting you know that jiggle mode is a thing, and you can edit your widgets using that also for editing the home screen for the slip navigation bar. Here the dots basically tells you can click on those to get into the library view is going to Apple library, you get this description here, which says a new home for all your apps organized and smart categories, quick summary is also size, previously was not there is also supermassive Siri suggestions, widget size are here for shortcut suggestions, doubled information, also feature a missed from the last one, when adding to Siri suggestions shortcuts to the same page. Even if they contain the same info I was will automatically select and choose different icons here. So as you can see in a moment there you experience that switch and she'll give you different suggestions. The tips widget is now working for me and will actually suggest something useful, instead of just these dots on beta 2, when selecting the stocks widget on beta 3 symbol, is now the first icon with watch list on the right to go to the very right to get simple. Also, when deleting a screenshot in beta 3, and get a different interface for its apple brings it down to your height right here easier to click. Also that back accessibility feature whereby tapping the back of your phone do different things such as bring the control center. This is now available for older phones such as the iPhone 8 Plus also for older devices. 3D Touch is temporarily disabled and help Apple brings it back. Also Apple has introduced a new mask look from emojis in beta 3. This one has a smooth look with a split scene previously was ridged couple changes in male swiping right, reveals a new color for the flight background icon. Also when selecting multiple that you can select them once again, and I was 14 beta 3 where previously that was not an option is also a quickened animation. When haptic touching on an email and then jumping in. So it now happens about twice as fast. Once again I was 14 beta 3 now supports on device translation. So this wasn't something new per se, but it now works entirely offline couple changes I miss from beta 2, and shortcuts on the bottom, there is a starter shortcut section here. Also, Apple has added a few new glyphs here when changing the icon namely in symbols and this stacked icon one. Also when using this Shazam shortcut. There is now this very pretty animation built on top right is nothing what really happened. We going to control center and see the usage of your microphone, it'll now specify music recognition, instead of just a vague shortcuts, and also in Shazam doesn't recognize a song to get this new product interface up top, instead of the 601 for before, and a number of changes to maps. So for one maps now ask if you prefer walking, and there's a preset setting for if you do select that there is a new prompt for getting there condensed also navigating using a bicycle, little alert icons are now smaller, and not as dark an interesting change also in maps, when haptic touching on the air quality index weather icon right here, and notice the icons are slightly larger, and now the sun sits on the right side, so they've been somewhat mirrored here in the clock, when adding a new alarm, and will now automatically populate the time area, so you have to click it to bring up the keyboard in the weather 
app, current location is now called my location, to clear up any confusion haptic touching on the photos up. If you have a screenshot in the preview, you'll notice it's now been shrunk. So it's not pitched edge when haptic touching an image in photos. There's now a new option to select it doesn't work, but it's new. Also when pressing into that photo is now a new animation. It's also been shortened similar to the male animation less movement happening in and jumps into a quicker within the share sheet couple the icons there's a new one for slideshow. It's now in a box instead of a circle and a new icon for create watch face with actual watch hands on the watch icon when editing photos in the crop and aspect ratio settings here in the left, you notice on entering drawing mode LLC, grayed out icons top where previously there was nothing and will become populated as soon as you begin drawing in Apple News. There's a new splash screen detailing audio stories within Apple News itself. There are few interface changes. So in the News Plus category here. The part detailing subscription the description for it and in the following page. There is interface changes here and see entitling search bar and the sizing here. Upon opening books in Beta 3 you get this prompt that your collection has been renamed and the actual view now just shows a current book you're reading instead of recent stew in podcasts. There is a new icon for the Browse tab here and when going into the notification settings here. You no longer have the options on the bottom to remove recommendations and new features in podcast settings. Some of the options are now highlighted in blue in health. Environmental sound levels is now headphone audio levels. So all reference to environmental is been replaced by headphones and are...